for us, and I feel this about any environmental product, we need to look at your individual self-interest. And your self-interest was, why are you spending $8,000 a year when you're using your car? Almost never. So Zipcar members are using cars, are spending a quarter to a third of what people are typically spending on their cars. They have a much more convenient, better life. Less than insurance. Way less than insurance and in parking. Um, from an environmental side, I used to joke it was you know, reason number four to do it, but it was not one, two, or three. Um, from an environmental perspective, we discussed social, social entrepreneurship is a term I really am quite not pleased with. I feel like we did this, it's a for-profit, capital-driven, you know, investor-driven company, and capitalism pulled and had the tail of these social environmental benefits. And uh, the statistics that today Zipcar has, I think 7,000 cars, 450,000 people using them across North America and in the UK. And 40% of the members have not bought or sold their car. So that would mean that we have replaced 200,000 cars. And I was doing a back- No cash for clunkers in that. No cash. And I was thinking of doing a back of the envelope calculation. And I think it was half a percent of US car sales last year. So it's had a dramatic impact in terms of car storage, which we think of as parking. And uh, the other dramatic effect is that when people pay for cars by the hour, they drive about 80% less. And so the reductions in CO2 would be about three quarters of a million tons last, last year of, of CO2 that was not emitted because people didn't drive. 